Battle of the Books, University of Indianapolis, and Hugo. That and more on today's news. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, hot dogs. I'm Thomas. And I'm Yasmin. Ms. Summers period five class should bring their laptops and reports to Ms. Business from 119. The University of Indianapolis meeting will be held today at 1020 a.m., so don't forget to attend. The college fair is also this week, September 12th at Roswell High School from 5.30 to 7. DECA would like to recognize Izzy Alba for creating the week three DECA backpack Buddy's Buddy bag menu. For lunch today, lines one and two, chicken nuggets, line three, clothes, line four, routine and soup and salad bar with chili, and line five, stuffed crust pizza. Today's birthdays go out to Stephanie Aguilar Espinoza, Adam Haynes, Jose Lopez Alaniz, and a special staff birthday goes to Mr. McKinnis. Now to sports and weather. Thanks, guys. For sports today, the girls' golf team traveled to Yulin County Club on Saturday. As the team shot, they shot 457, Sydney Caesar led the way, shooting at 92. The boys' cost crunchy team finished 16 out of 30 teams, led by Hero Hernandez with his 15th place, finished running a 10th best 5K time in school history with the 16-31. The girls' varsity team finished 22nd out of 30 teams, led by Karina Alanis with their 67th place, finished running 7th best 5K in school history with a 21-10. Also, Payne Debris added her name on the to top 20 by running 19th best 5K in school history with a 22-37. The ladies' hot dogs fell to Oak Hill on the last drops. Uh, Lady hot dogs the 3-1 season. Next up, next up is the Sagamore Conference game when the hot, ladies' hot dogs travel to Salma on Tuesday. L Liz Crusandable got her 12th goal of the season, which moved her into a three-way tie for fifth place on the single goals, single goals list. The goal was her 25th in her career, which moved her into a third, third three-way tie, this time for third place on the career goals list. To reach second place, she needs four more to get to 29. The girls' varsity, I mean the boys' varsity tennis team will travel to Kokomo. Matches start at 5 p.m. Boys' varsity soccer will host Western Boone today at 5.30 p.m. I'm Mr. Angeles Jr. Now on to weather with Thomas. Good morning, hot dogs. Today will be partly cloudy with a high of 79 and a low of 66. Hurricane Dorian passed through the U.S. However, tropical storm Humberto has Florida in its eyes. Will it hit Florida? Will it become a hurricane? These questions will be answered in the near future. That's all for today's weather. Now back to the studio. Frankfurt DECA has 33 teams competing in the DECA stock market game. This competition lasts through December 13th, and shout out to the teams whose investment portfolio ranked top 25. Fifth place, David Mendoza. Ninth place, Lane Todd and Brenton Woods. And 25th place, Sam Michael and Carter Wilson. There will be a call-out meeting for HOSA on Wednesday during community in room 139. If you're interested in health sciences, including medicine and sports medicine, go check it out. There's also another call-out meeting for Battle of the Books this Wednesday during community in the library. Ms. Willoughby will talk about the event, hand out sign-up sheets, and reveal this year's books. If you're struggling with math and need some extra help, after-school math help is available from 2.50 to 3.30. After school teachers will leave if no one shows up at 3. Today, Mr. Dudley will be available and tomorrow it will be Mr. Jagger. On Wednesday, Ms. Berkey and on Thursday, Ms. Berkey and Mr. Travis. This Friday's football game theme is Blackout Night and we would like for everyone to participate and attend. The night is in support of Southmont senior athlete Brody Mitchell. In June, Brody had a tumor on his brain and spent the summer recovering from surgery, with most of it being at Riley. He is doing really well right now and is even an intern for the athletic department this trimester. There will be a collection buckets for any donations towards the Riley Pediatric Neurosurgery Fund. That's all for today's news broadcast. Remember to smash the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Have a great Monday, hot dogs.